सो टुडे वील डिस्कस दिस टॉपिक दैट इज डीप ओल्ड्स मैन मशीन नाउ लेट अस फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड दिस एंटायर वर्ड डीप ओल्ड्स मैन मशीन देयर इज अ वर्ड दैट इज डीप हेयर एंड डीप हेयर स्टैंड्स फॉर मल्टीपल लेयर्स नाउ क्वेश्चन अराइजेस व्हाट दीज मल्टीपल लेयर्स विल डू दीज मल्टीपल लेयर्स विल लर्न लर्न द कॉम्प्लेक्स रिप्रेजेंटेशन ऑफ इनपुट डाटा so multiple layers will learn complex representation of input data the second word is boltzmann uh, this is named after the austrian physicist that is l dot boltzmann and uh, uh, this person has uh, given us a boltzmann distribution in which the probabilities were assigned to different states of a physical system now in the same way we'll be using the probabilities that are assigned to data in our case then this third word that is machine because it can perform complex tasks that is why we are saying it to be a machine not a model so deep for multiple layer and boltzmann for boltzmann distribution and machine because it performs complex tasks then is the dbm it is a type of unsupervised learning you give input to dbm dbm will extract the features plus interrelationships among data and these extracted features and interrelationships among data this will be represented in the form of multiple layers now what are the layers that are a part of dbm the first layer is the visible layer this visible layer represents input data the second layer that is a part of dbm is the hidden layer this represent features that are learned from data output layer is missing here now question arises why the output layer is uh, missing because output is nothing but the reconstructed input only but still we need this reconstructed output also so reconstructed output you will get it from the topmost hidden layer then is the connection the connection between uh, the visible layer and the hidden layer is undirected here undirected means connection can proceed in one direction it can proceed in both the direction or it can proceed in any direction from layer a to layer b and similarly from layer b to layer a then layers are connected horizontally as well as vertically both ways you can see this diagram in this diagram uh, we have this visible layers there where there are four visible nodes similarly above is the hidden layer where we have three hidden nodes now all the nodes that are the neurons are connected to one another when all are connected that means there are too many connections when there are too many connections that means processing takes time processing takes time means it is computationally complex now how we can reduce the complexity we can reduce the complexity by using rbm rbm is restricted boltzmann machine now in this there are less connections how come there are less connections you can see the visible layer within the visible layer there is no connection similarly within the hidden layer also there is no connection so we have reduced the connections and in the same way we have reduced the computational complexity now how uh, this uh, rbm works is uh, say you have this visible layer that is connected to the hidden layer input x is given to the visible layer and w is the weight so input multiplied by weight plus bias is added and then an activation function is applied so this happens for the first neuron in visible layer and first neuron of the hidden layer similarly all the inputs are applied and we can calculate the result at the hidden layer all the connections are there fully connected Uh, connections are there between visible layer and hidden layers also so there are multiple probable probable combinations that will be formed now uh, the connections are undirected that means it proceeds in uh, any direction uh, single direction both direction or any direction and uh, when we proceed from one direction to the another direction then weights are updated and this happens in iterations and these iterations are called as epochs now weights are updated in rbm using probabilities and this principle is called as contrastive divergence now there is this word contrastive that means we need to compare 
what is to be compared comparison is done between distribution of the data samples and the distribution of the model the generated uh, model that is there so distribution of data samples and distribution of generated sample difference is identified between these two and after training rbm can be used for tasks like generating new data samples or in extracting useful features from input data target applications areas are image processing in image processing uh, uh, rbm or dbm both can be used to learn features from the images features can be edges corners textures patterns pixel relationships and these all can be applied for various image processing tasks like image recognition classification segmentation and writing recognition object detection and many more similarly another application area could be nlp uh, that is we can learn uh, we can make this machine learn from words phrases sentences and then these can be applied to machine translation text summarization and sentiment analysis similarly the third application area is the recommendation system uh, dbm and rbm can learn the relationships between the users and the item when the relationship is learned then you can uh, recommend new items to the users and the same uh, is being used by uh, a number of companies like netflix uses uh, uh, this uh, model this machine for recommending movies and tv shows amazon uh, uses it for recommending products to its customer google uses it to improve the accuracy of the search results facebook uses it for uh, improving the accuracy of facial recognition system paypal uses it for detecting the fraudulent transactions so this is all with this topic and if you do get uh, got some knowledge from this video then do like comment share and subscribe and thanks for watching